What's happening, Home Improvement Pandas? Peter from Panda here. Hey, I just got this quiet check valve because the check valve I have is making some noise. It's not outrageous, but it does do that kind of typical thunk. And I wanted to see if I could quiet it down. So I'm hoping that this one will. This is called the quiet check valve, and it's one and a half inch diameter here. The flow information or the arrow is right there. And I think it's called by Magic Plastics. And the reason I picked this up is because I think it's the same quiet check valve that is very, very popular and appears from users to work pretty well. I'm actually a little surprised that it does, but I wanted to show this one to you. Uh, the housing here looks exactly the same. Some of them uh, are have a, like a clear plastic, which is interesting, so you can see the valve working. But what makes this one different is that it comes with these rubber uh, pipe couplings here. Uh, most of the ones I've seen by the Quiet Check Valve by Magic Plastics have like PVC screw down uh, couple of, or couplings that you have to, you know, um, prime and then glue. And so that's not the setup I had. And so since I already have rubber couplings, I wanted to use those. So I've kind of loosened them up here a little bit. Let me see if we can get them off. And this is what you have. You get this. This is the check valve itself. Now I kind of want to show it to you. Uh, a little bit just so that you kind of get an idea of what this thing is like because I'm surprised as I was kind of looking at it that the thing works so you can see down in the top there that there is a flapper it's kind of like inside your toilet uh, tank um, just a valve a one-way valve so water gets pumped up and then as it starts to kind of fall back down it'll close that little door there and stop the water from returning back to the pump and you might be able to see there <clears throat> we have a little hinge but you have a little like uh, metal arm little spring basically I'm sure if I can get in on that for you you have a spring that is kind of pushing that door down now that's probably one of the reasons that I'm surprised this thing works because I actually wouldn't think that the door would need it to be pressed down like that because I would think that the the rushing water pressure would push it down. Now, I, I don't know if it's just kinda, I don't really think it's even, even slowing the door down. So to be honest, I'm not really sure how it works. And down here is where you can see the bottom of it. You can see there's a rubber gasket. The door itself is like plastic. And I don't know if it's part of it is, which you might not be able to see here, is the door, even when it's closed, is a little bit angled. So when it closes, it looks like it only gets about this far. So I don't know if that angle is important or what, but I just want to show you here, if I take my screwdriver and push up on the door, you know, it'll open and it's under like some spring tension because I actually have to push it a little bit to get it open, which is funny because I would think, like I said, it would be more of the pushing back of the water that should be under tension so that the door doesn't slam shut and create that thunking sound. Now, <clears throat> I am not a fluid dynamics expert or anything, so maybe someone can correct me on why that works because just it's a little counterintuitive to me but I'm hoping that it works and I guess where I'm it's counterintuitive to me on and um and even as I play around with it it's I feel like I'm right is if I push open the door like this and release it I get a thunk you know as it kind of slams back and seats down now so I, I don't know uh, let's put it in and just let science demonstrate its effectiveness. Here's my existing check valve and the noise that it makes. All right, got the check valve in and it is pumping. Let's see what it sounds like. Wow, that was pretty quiet. Uh, I actually didn't even hear the door slam on it so I'll be honest I guess it worked despite my reservations about the way it was set up so that's a positive result uh, pretty impressed with that right on the first try uh, man it didn't even make a a valve sound at all it just sounded like the water stopped pumping so I'll keep using it but so far I'm impressed you know for a $30 piece I think it uh, alleviates a lot of that noise that clunking that that annoying sound you might get in the house or through the floor. So check it out, I'll put a link to the description. Peter Von Panda out.